Hey, good morning, everybody. Just adjust this. Good morning, everybody. Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, it's time for the my just sharing um, episode today. I did have a sharing for you today, and the the title of my message is "Love and Stupidity Part 2. So last week we had Part One. Um, just as a review last week, I told you that if you stop eating carbs you could double your earnings right if you remember that if you didn't if you don't remember that um, look in the videos section of the Facebook group um, or on YouTube we're also gonna post it on YouTube so you can go ahead check it out but I said if you if you stop eating carbs you can double your earnings right and, and I gave a whole explanation about it and um, the idea was that when you have discipline when you have discipline in food, when you have discipline in money, when you have discipline with your time and your priorities, then that will help you be unstoppable. You know, that will help you really achieve anything in life. Okay. The verse that I want to repeat, it's the same verse as last week's um, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. And we've dealt with the first half. That was last week. Today, we're going to deal with the second half of that verse. And the second half of that verse, Proverbs 21, verse 1 says, He who hates correction is stupid. Okay, let me repeat that. He who hates correction is stupid. And it's, a, it's pretty harsh, right? You're calling somebody stupid, especially in the Bible. That, that's pretty harsh. But let's, let's give that a little thought. It's just... A very short phrase but let's that I, I want to talk more about that so all of us we all make mistakes right all of us make mistakes you know we we live our lives every day we we try to live good lives you know we try to be good we we do our work we you know, spend time with family um, but we all make mistakes right but in, in order for us to improve in order for us to not make mistakes we need to be corrected right it's a very simple rule you know, even as kids you make a mistake your parents correct you you, you get corrected okay. and you know all of us we do make mistakes you will make mistakes um, no matter what happens like we talked about discipline discipline last week we talked about how you should be disciplined but when when you're trying like I said you you have to eliminate carbs from your diet to double your earnings but it's gonna be hard you will make mistakes same if you're trying to discipline yourself with money um, you try not to eat in restaurants right you're going to make mistakes because discipline is very hard as I was saying earlier you know when you're trying to to be disciplined when you're trying to example like if you're trying to discipline yourself with money um, you try not to go to restaurants right you try not to spend you try not to eat out but you're going to make mistakes because being disciplined is hard and when you make mistakes when you make a mistake so you have two choices right? you have two choices when you make a mistake you either either you give up you say you know what it's too hard you know what I I, I can't do this I'm trying so hard I'm trying so hard to exercise right I try so hard to exercise but you know exercise is so tiring so your first choice is to give up that's your first choice your second choice is to accept that you made a mistake and then to improve okay your second choice is to accept accept the keyword here is accept accept that you made a mistake and try to improve now there are two kinds of people when it comes to this those that can accept that they made a mistake and those that cannot accept that they made a mistake so I want to ask you which one are you can you accept that you make mistakes so if you can answer in the comments below I'd appreciate it can are you the kind of person that can accept that you make mistakes or are you the kind of person that cannot accept it when you make mistakes and these are the people you know the, the people who, who can't accept when they make mistakes so these are the people who give up easily because they can't accept it, that they made a mistake they get instead of accepting that they make mistakes they say you know what this is too hard I'm just gonna give up same if, if you're think if you're thinking about freelancing right freelancing is hard to get started if you're thinking about freelancing and you make a mistake and you give up you know, it's so easy to give up you're gonna say you know what freelancing is too hard I'll just go back to working like in a call center or in corporate I'm just gonna give up on this 
and so many people will do that. But these kind of people, these people who give up easily, they're the same kind of people who can't accept corrections. They can't accept corrections. You know, for, for, because for them, getting corrected is embarrassing. They would, these kind of people would rather give up than try again. These people, they, they'd rather, instead of trying again and failing again, instead of like, let's say you're applying for Upwork jobs and you fail, and the people who give up, they're, they're just going to give up rather than trying again and then failing again and getting embarrassed. They would rather give up than try to get corrected. Because for them, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing when you fail. It's embarrassing when you make mistakes. So they'd rather just give up. Because when they get corrected, they feel that it's personal. They feel that, you know, it's... It's, it's against them. Instead of focusing on how they can do better, they will get defensive and feel like they've been insulted. If somebody says, okay, this is what you should do. When, you know, when we give advice, like in this group, we give people advice. And some people, when we give them advice, they, they feel insulted when you give them advice. And they would rather give up than be corrected. They instead of focusing on how to be how to become better, they would they'll become defensive. They're gonna say they're gonna protect themselves. So when you get corrected, when somebody corrects you, when somebody gives you advice, do you get defensive? I mean, are you the kind of person that gets defensive? Are you the kind of person that feels insulted, that feels hurt when somebody gives you advice, when somebody gives you correction? Do you take it personally? When you get corrected, when somebody gives you correction, when somebody gives you advice, when somebody tells you where you went wrong, I was asking, do you get defensive? Do you feel insulted? Do you take it personally? Do you get mad when somebody corrects you, when somebody gives you advice? If you're this kind of person, you know, it, it's okay. It's okay. But the first step is admitting it. But these people, they hate correction. These kind of people who get insulted, these kind of people who feel hurt when they get advice or when they get corrected, these are the kind of people who hate correction. And, and in Proverbs, Proverbs calls them stupid. But, you know, that's a very harsh term. I won't call them stupid. What I'm going to call them is prideful. Prideful. Pride, and, and prideful people, prideful people have delicate self-worth and have a delicate ego prideful people value their pride so much that if they feel that it's threatened that if they feel that somebody is saying something against their pride they're gonna get defensive and they're gonna get hurt prideful people value you know they, they love their pride so much prideful people love their pride so much their own ego so much more than knowledge, more than earnings, and more than discipline. Prideful, prideful people love pride so much that they'd rather give up than be corrected. You know, when they make a mistake, they'd rather give up than be corrected because when they get corrected, they feel hurt. They, when they get corrected, they feel they get mad. So they'd rather give up than be corrected. And prideful people, they're they're. I guess one important thing is that prideful people aren't just scared of other people correcting them, but they're scared. They're also scared of getting corrected by themselves. You know, get, having their own selves correct them, and so they don't even correct themselves. They don't even give themselves another chance when they make a mistake. They just give up. And prideful people feel that you know they, that any kind of mistake they make is embarrassing, that it's going to hurt their ego. So I, I want to ask you, are you prideful? Are you like this? Are you somebody who values their pride so much that when somebody gets somebody tries to correct you, somebody gives you advice, somebody um, gives you tells you what to do? that you feel hurt are you prideful and it's okay i'm not gonna get mad if you're prideful you know all of us we're never perfect so 
it's okay to admit that you're prideful. It's okay. But if you want to improve, if you want to improve yourself, the first step is to be aware of your pride and to start correcting it. I'm going to go back to Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. It says, whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. And once again, I'm not going to call you stupid. You may be prideful, but the first step, once again, is being aware of, of being prideful and start correcting it. Start correcting being too prideful. Now, if you love your earnings, if you love your knowledge, if you love your skill, uh, oh, um, it got paused. Sorry about that. So, if you love your earnings, if you love knowledge, if you love your skill, if you love your job, then you should love discipline, as it says in Proverbs chapter twelve, verse one. But if you love your pride more than you love discipline, if you love your pride more than knowledge, if you're too scared of making mistakes to, to improve yourself, then Proverbs says that that's stupid. But like I said, you should be aware of your pride so that the next time, the next time that you are corrected by others or even if you're corrected by your own self, try analyzing yourself, try looking at yourself and ask yourself, are you being defensive? Do you feel insulted? Are you getting mad? And if when somebody gives you advice, if when somebody corrects you, 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 you do get mad, you do get hurt, you do get defensive, try to remember that hating correction is stupid. That maybe you're being prideful at that time. So, because in, in our earnings, in our knowledge, in our skill, in our discipline, in our priorities, if you really want to improve yourself, if you really want to reach your goals, if you want to double your income, if you want to provide for your family, if you want to reach your dreams, you have to prioritize that over your own pride. So be aware of it and just take a look at yourself. Next time you feel hurt when somebody corrects you, the next time you feel angry, realize that, hey, maybe this is pride. And then you can start correcting yourself from there. From personal experience, I've had, I've really had to destroy my own pride in order to become successful. You know, a lot of people, I'd had to take a lot of advice from people. I'd had to make a lot of mistakes. So speaking from personal experience, um, we should be aware of our pride and eliminate it and try to destroy it. Okay, be blessed, Flip.